the broadcast because I also want to think uh, aloud with you about uh, what is it that the Satendra Jain case tells us about what is likely to happen with Mr. Manish Sisodia. That's Mr. Manish Sisodia. While well, he's smiling through as he walks to the Rouse Avenue court complex, he appears confident and that's the line that his party has also maintained that this is some kind of a witch hunt. The CBI continues to maintain that they have the evidence to proceed against Mr. Sisodia and it's on the basis of some solid evidence that he's been arrested and questioned by the Central Bureau of Investigation. Let's try and listen. <laughs> Sir, why you, why you mentally harassed, sir? What was the allegation? What about the allegation? Sir, what do you think? I want to cut across to my colleague Anshul as well, who is with us on the broadcast. Ashish Meheshi will also stay with us. Uh, we'll continue tracking all the developments coming in from the Rouse Avenue court. Um, coming to you, Anshul, and taking in a view from you, this has been, as expected, as much a case in the court of public perception as much as it is being fought in the court of law. The Ahmadmi Party continues to maintain that this is a witch hunt of sort. On the other hand, we have seen protests by the Delhi BJP demanding resignation of the Chief Minister. Well, definitely this is a battle of perception that is being fought between the Ahmadi Party and the BJP and this is not the first time that we are seeing such action coming in uh, from the BJP or from the Ahmadi Party. Now remember, since this FIR was registered on the uh, 22nd of June, if I remember correctly, uh, since then the Ahmadi Party has made, made this a point that this is nothing but, but a witch hunt and in fact, when Mani Sufudia was inter initially interrogated in this entire matter when he was called for the first time to the CBI headquarters on 17th of October, then also we heard the same comments coming in from the top, entire top of the Ahmadi party that they alleged that Manish Sudhya is going to be arrested by the, C by the CBI. We also saw the scenes that uh, un unfolded la uh, last Sunday when Manish Sudhya was brought out here yet again uh, for investigation post which he was arrested. There was massive protest that, that, that was carried out by the Ahmadi party across the national capital. In fact, se several of the leaders were arrested uh, or in fact detained by the Delhi police as well. So yes, this is a battle of perception that is being fought. Manish Sudhya and the Ahmadi party has taken this line that since he has worked so tremendously well uh, when it comes to in improving the uh, education sector in the national capital, the BJP is scared that he is gaining pop popularity and hence wants to demolish him and hence uh, wants to uh, get him arrested and taint the image of the Ahmadi party because remember the Ahmadi party uh, came to came to power on the plank of being a Qatar Imandar party and that is something that the BJP uh, is is targeting right now because we have seen that over the past over the past many years now there have been cases uh, cases and severe cases of uh, corruption that has been alleged against our top leaders of the of the Ahmadi party including the likes of Satyendra Jain who still remains to be inside the jail even after eight months uh, since since he was taken to Tihar. So yes, this battle of perception that is being fought between the BJP and the Ahmadi party is turning uh, ugly or it's turning uh, more and more interesting by every passing right. minute. What remains to be seen is to how quickly can the Ahmadi party get out of this entire entire battle and make sure that their, their image that, that they have been protecting for so many years, that image is protected and that image is not tainted. I want to cut across uh, back to my colleague Ananya as well, who is with us on the broadcast. Ananya, uh, what's the time we anticipate the hearings to begin? At around 2.30 or before that? Well, you know, Anusha, it's already uh, 1.40 and the court, uh, you know, is at the lunch break time at this point of time. The court would resume at 2 p.m. Uh, when Mr. Sisodia would be produced before special CBI judge uh, M.K. Nagpal. And now uh, the, and the, the hearing would be beginning in like another 15 to 20 minutes where we'll uh, get to know as to whether the Central Bureau of Investigation would be seeking for a further police custody remand of Mr. Manish Sisodia or not. Uh, apart from that, we'll also get to know as to what has been done in these two days which was uh, sought by the Central Bureau of Investigation remand. Remember, the three days of police custody demand sought by the Central Bureau of Investigation saying that they need to confront him with two more witnesses who cannot be named at this point of time. Apart from that, we also said that he is, um, uh, he is privy of uh, the location of a file that is very, very important and for instance, to the cabinet note and the discussions that have happened over the uh, persistent changes to this particular excise policy. However, the same could not have been recovered at this point of time. And what has also been uh, stated before the court was yeah. that he is somebody who is uh, ev evading this particular investigation and is not answering properly. So 
So now when the CBI comes back today uh, at 2 p.m. when the hearing actually begins, we'll have to see as to whether what uh, in these two days has the Central Bureau of Investigation done? Has it found any peculiar evidence against Manish Sodia? Do they want to question it? in this particular case or not because right. remember that the 14 day period already 7 days are over and 7 more days sustained so if at all the central yeah, bureau of investigation wants to take a chance yeah. they can only take at this in these 7 days and whether or not he is taken and even for that Ananya they need to have proper grounds to ask for that kind of custodial interrogation like what they've done so far and what they want to do anything uh, they want to do further that's something that they'd have to point out to the court I want to